eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. All right, so we've got Rickety Cricket versus Kickback. Rickety Cricket, of course, is the giant spinning disc. Uh, it is a kinetic walker. They get the kinetic walking or the walking bonus here at Norwalk, which is two pounds. And oh. Kickback is the, uh, well, really chonky wedge on the vertical disc. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Thanks for joining us at the desk. Oh, it's great to be back, Kyle. Luke had to go somewhere. He didn't tell me. There we go. Oh, Rickety Cricket trying to get out of the corner. Kickback seems to be using a little bit more of that uh, maneuverability to its advantage. Yeah, it's it's really difficult when you are a, a kinetic walking bot like that because they really can't walk backwards. Oh, we got to show motion. Yeah. Countdown started. Seems to be laboring a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, he's back in motion. Yeah, sort of. it's, it's difficult to call show motion for a bot like Rickety Cricket because they need, what, basically whenever that weapon's working, we know they're able to move. They use the centrifugal force of the weapon to move the bot around. As you can see, kind of the head of that oh, weapon. Oh, there we go, big old armor truck coming armor. out there. So that's the, the front uh, wedge lit or the front armor plate of, uh, of kickback completely ripped off there. So the centrifugal force is what actually is able to lift up the bot so they are able to pivot that head left and right and that gives them the control to walk the bot around. As long as the weapon's spinning, the bot is able to move. The weapon is... Rickety Cricket wasn't out. It was just taking a power nap. Yeah, and that's all it really needs. So that weapon is, is doing kind of double duty as a as both the, the weapon motor and the um, and the actual drive motor. One minute left on the clock. Yeah. Can Rickety Cricket pull off some of the big hits that it'll need to get ahead? Rickety Cricket really is just um, kind of disturbing when it's like moving the way that it's supposed to, that like <laughs> ambling, really weird walk. It's super creepy. It's uh, it's in a it's in a pretty precarious position. It's right in now. a very precarious situation. It's not moving at all. There oh, we go. No, now it's no. able to flip itself back Maybe. over, and it's definitely moving again. There we go. Oh, uh, maybe it's not. There we go. It's moving. Yep, yep. So hard to tell with these walking bots. We're in the last. All right, ten seconds left. Seven, six. Oh! Oh! Oh, Rickety Cricket just says, I'm not going to let the match end like that. And look at how fast it moves when it wants to. That's the end of this match. Wow. Weapons down. Please make your way to the door. Obviously, Rickety Cricket cannot do both of those things at the same time. This goes to a judge's decision. That was exciting. That was extremely exciting. Okay, I, I don't even know what to think about that match. Uh, Andrew, tell us what you thought. How, how did that go? Yeah, uh, I have the criteria up right here for uh, scoring. You know, looking at the rules here, I feel like I want to give this to Rickety Cricket in the sense that um, control is a little bit harder for a robot like that. But um, on the aggression side, we didn't really see much, uh, you know, control by um, kickback and damage. There was that front panel ripped off. So, you know, I, I got to go Rickety Cricket on this one. All right, Don, what are your thoughts? So, Kickback did a pretty good job trying to keep control even though, even after its weapon got down. Uh, but Rickety Cricket did, uh, their weapon did get disabled towards the middle and um, Rickety Cricket was aggressive at some point. I think I'm also gonna have to go Rickety. Okay, so that's, uh, is this going to be a split decision? Jack, what's your thoughts? Uh, I'm also going to go for Rickety Cricket. Rickety Cricket, all three judges. Okay, Rickety Cricket wins that match. Wow. Despite multiple show motion bars being brought up against it, it still wins in the end, and I think that big last hit at the end is probably what sealed the deal for a lot of these folks. So Rickety Cricket wins. They will move on.
five pound kinetic walker bot. Now we're gonna go over to cage two. Looks like we got a couple bots loaded in. We have Polywog and DBSC3. Oh Eight, man, Polywog, DBSC3, Polywog in the blue four, square. Three. Two, DBSC one, three in the fight, pink square. Robots fight. Spun up, but it looks like he's losing control a little bit. Oh, oh my goodness. The floor. So Polywog ranked number one in 2021, ah. ranked uh, ranked number nine overall. And uh, just capitalizing on the fact that it can actually land on its wheels and keep fighting right now, because that's uh, all you need to beat this opponent at this time. Uh, DBSC3 is a really beautiful bot. I really like the design. I think it's really gorgeous. They're just having a hard time getting control. Wow. It seems like their weapon motor is spinning the body of their bot just as much as uh, it's spinning the blade, if not more. It just keeps delivering those, those small and, and precise and calculated hits. Yeah, making sure that that weapon is only making contact with its drum. Yep. Hitting just enough to destabilize the, its opponent. I mean, this is where you really see the experienced driving prowess. And now this is, uh, you know, you back up, let them try to get back up to speed, come back in before they get all the way back up to speed. Just really calculated, really thoughtful driving on Polywog. A chance for a speed up here. Nah. Can he stay out of the corner, though? Yeah, he can't stay out of the corner. And that's the thing. When you have a big bar spinner like that, you want to be right in the middle of the arena. Polywood is doing a great job keeping them up against the wall, keeping them into the corners. Everywhere they, that you want them to be where it's dangerous for them to actually spin that weapon. This is uh, a very interesting flail on DBSC3. What would you call that dance move if a human was Too doing it? Too big to flail. Too big to flail. Yes! <laughs> Well, they're not going to get a bailout in this fight, I can tell you that right now. Not a place they want to be confined anywhere near this, this wall. All right, uh, they're stuck up against the wall. Believe it or not, they have not left. had they're gonna an get assist. A little assistance from Bert yet. Bert just gave them a little bit of a bump. He's going to try to get them off this wall. There they go. They're able to start moving again. Bert's getting out of the way. Doesn't want to be hit by that flailing bar. And we're getting down to the last 20 seconds of this fight. And it's a 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of this fight. Weapons down. Please make your way to the wow. door if you can. This will go to the judges. Just an impressive uh, performance from Polywog. Really was. So we're just going to do a quick show of hands because we're ready to go in box one. So who here thought DBSC3 won that fight? Anybody? No, not so much. All right, who here thought Polywog won that fight? Yeah, there you go. Uh, three votes that count and two that didn't for Polywog. We'll go ahead and just box one. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. All right, so loading into box one now. All right, we have uh, 